What's up guys, it's Ryan with AOMC. I'm back today to show you a helmet that I have been pretty excited to get a closer look at. It's Bell's newest evolution in racing helmets, the Moto 10 Spherical. Let's get into it. All right guys, the Moto 10 is here. This is the 2022 edition. Um, full carbon with the matte black visor and this is bell's most advanced motorcycle helmet um, to date they're calling it not only the most advanced helmet in the industry but a piece of bell history so pretty cool so your first question is going to be what is the big difference in this and a normal helmet um, or why does it look the way it does you can you can see the difference here let me start out by saying it is a different look of the shell uh, but it does grow on you so this instead of being a one-piece shell this is a two-piece guys and bell claims that this is a little safer uh, that, that it can absorb impacts uh, and protect your head a little better than a one-piece shell can possibly do. So the way this helmet works with impact absorption and with airflow is drastically different than a one-piece helmet. This two-piece design is a ball and socket design and it's actually going to be able to redirect impact because it allows the outer liner to move separate. It's going to rotate around the inner liner in the event of a crash. Uh, it's all made of 3K carbon, guys. And where it differs in ventilation is because of the way it's made, there is a, a thermal exchange airflow system, which is so extreme that it sucks cool air in like a vacuum and then expels hot air through the side and through the exhaust ports. So it really is truly one of a kind. But the different shell and the different cooling vents is not where this helmet stops. It's got some other pretty cool things too. Here on the bottom, Bell has what they're calling the no mist race bumpers, NMRs. So what this is, is it's basically a piece of foam, but it's an EPP foam. So it compresses under load, but then it comes back, it retains its shape. And the reason they call it that is because this is going to hit on your collarbone. You're not going to miss races because you're not going to break your collarbone from your helmet hitting right there, guys. I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen this on another helmet either. Uh, another thing that guys ask usually right off the bat is how big is the eye port? My goggles won't fit in half the helmets I try. Bell says this is the largest goggle port in the industry, guys. So if your goggles will not fit in this, there's probably some kind of other issue. This helmet also uses uh, Bell's flying bridge visor system. So you don't get a bolt or anything holding the visor in the middle. You just get the sides. And this is made to break away and flex up. Uh, that's gonna keep, it's gonna absorb a little more impact that your head or neck area doesn't have to take. Now let's get into some of the liner stuff, guys. Probably my favorite thing about these high-end Bell helmets is this. Magnetic cheek pads, guys. I mean, I'm a guy that washes my liners all the time. Every ride I have to wash my liners and cheek pads and I'll sit there and I have to find some good light and try to snap these in and try to get a feel for it. This is a life changer. Um, there are three snaps for the liner here. It's all ma machine washable, antimicrobial, all that. Um, easy to get in you can have i can have this liner and these cheek pads in and out in probably about 20 to 25 seconds uh, same thing with the chin strap it's magnetic you can hear that there you don't have to search for a clip there very cool and then as far as certifications guys of course it's dot snell and ece now if you're not familiar with snell um, if a manufacturer takes the time to get a helmet snell uh, approved they are um, extremely extremely confident in their helmet snell is non-profit so the, the manufacturers have to send their helmet into snell and it's a very expensive process to get snell approved so if they do have a helmet snell approved you know they stand behind it you're getting all the protection that's available in the industry in this helmet guys uh, you get the mips system which we've talked about in a lot of videos been around for for years now but uh, it's proven that it does uh, does provide extra safety and you get the eject system if you're not familiar with the eject system when you pull this liner out there's a pad you can remove and there's an, an like a, a airbag that's sold separately and there's a hose that will come out the back and if, there, if there's an injury 
track personnel can actually use a little pump blow up that hose and it will bring the helmet off the top of your head without um, you know as gently as possible without exacerbating any injuries you might have very cool just packed guys packed with features packed with safety packed with performance moto 10 spherical now as far as sizing i'm gonna try this thing on for you now um, I feel like the bells run a little bit small. Uh, in fly, I wear an extra large pretty comfortably. In most goggles, I wear an extra large. This is an extra large. I'm gonna show you how it fits. Uh, it's a little snugger than what I like, and I get the feeling with the bells, you get that feeling that the, uh, the chin bar right here is very close to your face. So I would be going with a 2X on the Moto 10 Spherical and on the Moto 9S Flex and probably all the bells. But it does feel comfortable. I don't feel any pressure points. I do like the helmet. It feels light. I haven't got an exact weight for it. So being as this helmet is Bell's most advanced helmet, it does come in at around $850. But you do get a very cool helmet bag with it. Black, red interior, super soft interior. Got some extra pockets there. It's the best of the best, guys. One of the best helmets available right now. So, of course... These are going to ship for free from AOMC. You're going to earn a ton of BRAP coin. So if you wanted to order this helmet and then turn around and use your BRAP coin, you can uh, order some goggles to go with it. We realize here at AOMC that, that fitment can always can sometimes be an issue. Uh, different helmets, different brands, different lines might fit a little differently. That's why we have our fitment promise. So if you order this helmet and it doesn't fit how you need it to, we're going to pick up the bill get you a return shipping label and get you the size you need. It can be another of this exact helmet or it can be another brand. We just want you to get in the helmet, get in the gear that you need. So if you have, this helmet's only been out for about seven or eight months, but if you have worn one of these or have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comments, guys. I'm keeping an eye on that comment section and uh, I'll help you out however I can. Thanks so much. See you in the next video.